on an afternoon's walk at my parents' farm, accompanied by the two family dogs. I had an epiphany which changed my life, and it took nearly a dozen years to sort out how it happened, how to help others find this for themselves, as well as make it a permanent state. On the farm that day, in the woods, suddenly all thought dropped away for a long moment, and I was struck with an immense peace. Nothing in all the long years as a counselor had prepared me for such a revelation. It didn't last forever, but it haunted me from that time forward. I wasn't even able to continue with my 20-plus year career, since all I was doing seemed pointless compared to that singular event. I then retired without pension to make my own way and research what I had stumbled onto. This led through hundreds of books and recordings and found me writing several books to organize this into a pattern anyone could follow. I knew, however, this pattern was flawed in some way. Something was incomplete. One day, a friend sent me a copy of Lester Levinson's work, and this then solved it all. Looking up his book, Keys to the Ultimate Freedom, as well as his earlier recordings, answered all my questions, and gave me the missing puzzle piece. The remainder of this and following lessons are based directly on Levinson's works. A. As you seek freedom purposely, as more important than the world we live in, all these needless and unimportant points tend to drop away. B. Negatives and positives are just two sides of the same coin. One can't exist without the other. And you can simply move from one to the other just by your own consideration or choice. C. The basic premise of this book is that all freedom you seek is inherently within you. You demonstrate this every single day, or the lack of it. All that keeps you from demonstrating this in your life also known as manifesting or attracting, is the agreed upon limits you've accepted in your lifetime up to this point. Agree with this or not, your mileage may vary. D. The word no is a placeholder only. Its apparent power comes from the positive statement. NLP says that when you have this word in a sentence, the mind interprets it as a positive. Always state thing in the positive version in order to get them into your life around you. E. Develop your ability to concentrate. Work on a single activity or purpose at any given time. And turn off any distractive elements such as TV, radio, newspaper, and the Internet if they don't serve your forward progress toward developing your own freedom. F. Understand Levinson's releasing techniques fully. Study various authors, but get these simple basics down to a version which you can use on your own. G. Learn to release constantly. Anything that comes up in your life, just learn to welcome and let it go. H. Take no other example or anyone else's life experience as a standard or goal for yourself. Be true to yourself. I. When you run out of material to release, and the world around you is perfect all the time, answer, what am I? J. Huna, Hill, and Nightingale say your world is exactly as you think it to be, how you create it. So you should be responsible as you can and release that which doesn't give you peace or more freedom, or allow your freedom or peace to shine more. In the text for this lesson, I include a succinct sequence to learn to release, for any who have not run across that Sedona method or release technique before. And of course, there are accompanying assignments for your use and practice, but I'll leave you with a simple approach to living a more peaceful life. The next time you feel like doing something to someone that you wouldn't like having happen to you, try this. 1. Pause for a moment. 2. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, slowly. Take several if you want. 3. Then just accept the emotion which is coming in. Let it really show up in full. Don't act on it. Just let it be. 4. Then see if you can simply let it go. Release it. 5. Now, go ahead and treat that person the way you'd like it. Mm -hmm.